Good afternoon and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a job that I've been putting off for quite a while and that is the uh, painting and general renovation of these headlight bezels. So the bezels on my XJ40 at the moment are not in the best condition. One of them has a large split and the other one um, has the rubber seal that you can see on this red item missing. So I've got two different items here. The red one is off a 1989 4 litre, so it's got the chrome insert rings like mine. The other one seems to be off a later one, possibly a 3.2 litre or 4 litre sport, so it doesn't have the, uh, the chrome uh, surrounds. So what I did was I went out and purchased the following items. So wet and dry paper, uh, we have a mixture of 120 uh, oh, sorry, 180 and 320 grade. So the 180 I used initially uh, to get the majority of the paint flatted back to the original plastic. The 320 I used as a second run just to sort of finish off what I'd done originally on the be on the bezels. And I also bought some 12 and 1500 grade, which I used between coats. So effectively what I did was to rub back both the headlight bezels until I got back um, on the majority of areas to the actual plastic which was underneath the, uh, the, the original paint finish. Now interestingly the um, green one actually uh, seemed to rub off a lot easier than the red one so I'm not sure if the green one has been replaced at some point and isn't the factory finish whereas the red one which seemed to be the factory finish was a lot more um, difficult to rub back and took a lot longer. The whole process, although it greatly speeded up here, actually took around an hour or so, pretty much uh, to, the, to the letter. It was about an hour and six minutes if I'm going to be completely exact. But it's not a process that uh, was particularly quick. In between um, rub downs, I cleaned off the um, the bezels with a rag and some white spirit, just to uh, make sure that the area was clean of any excess paint. You can actually see that I didn't put anything down underneath, and uh, thankfully I didn't ruin this tablecloth. But I would put down newspaper before you actually start anything like this. So from um, Halfords of all places I bought in the following rattle cans the plastic primer uh, grey plastic primer in this case uh, clear lacquer and because I couldn't find any Jaguar Mason's black or indeed any Jaguar colours at all I went for Audi Brilliant Black which is actually um, surprisingly actually quite a close match for Mason's black so I was quite pleased to actually find that. Um, there are a number of other blacks available, but they do seem to sort of differ in intensity of black and um, the uh, sort of the shade of black. So some were sort of a slightly lighter black than others. Mason's black is quite a dark black, so the Audi Brilliant black seemed to sort of work quite well. Um, because it was quite a warm day, I didn't need to get any kind of heat into the panel. Uh, so I was able to just get away with my standard approach of warming up the uh, the rattle cans before applying and spraying the actual item itself. The red bezel actually had some kind of chrome coating um, around the actual headlight rings themselves on, on the bezel and I was not able to get that chrome coating off in any way shape or form so what I settled for was making sure that the whole surface was keyed using the uh, the 180 and then the 320 grade paper so that we have a good surface for um, the plastic primer to adhere to. Had I two bezels with um, the chrome rings which would have been ideal because it would match what's on the car at the moment I would have made left those rings alone and just done the, uh, the coloured parts around the outside. However, because I've got a mix, I've gone for, and it's obviously not easy to chrome things, I've actually gone for um, 
paint in the whole affair so it's going to give the car uh, a slightly different front end appearance I'm hoping it'll work but uh, I do have the original bezels to go back to albeit one has split in it but I will try to repair the, repair the one that is split so that I can go back to them if I want and also it means I've got a spare set of um, headlight surrounds so what I'm doing here is I'm just masking everything up ready for uh, the initial spray so there are um, in total two rubber seals around the actual lights themselves there's a large one at the bottom um, which is funny enough not attached on the red one but seems to still be present on the green one I did try removing it but it seems to be stuck down with quite a, quite a strong adhesive and rather than risk actually breaking the uh, the bezel itself I opted to leave it in place and just cover it with the uh, the masking tape so I'm outside now and what I did was to just liberally spray the uh, the primer all over both bezels so you can see I seem to actually get sort of quite a good uh, coverage by doing it in this sort of um, hung up form uh, I was actually quite surprised as I thought didn't think this would actually work that well at all but it actually seemed to work a lot better than expected so what you do is you um, use the sort of uh, apply uh, about six inches away as normal and use the on off method on the uh, the rattle can don't focus on one particular area but go over the whole uh, surround several times so you make sure you get a good coverage on the whole surround I also found that if you go round to the other side of the surround so the back and spray in from the back you can actually get into uh, the headlight rings quite easily and you can actually get quite a good finish on those there's me just uh, talking to the dog as he decided to jump up onto the neighbour's wall which is a bit annoying but that's what he does the next thing was to use some 1500 grade and just flat back the, um, the coat in between uh, the primer and the top coat so it does sort of leave the surface keyed but it just gives um, a nice smooth blemish free surface for me to be able to spray the top coat onto I don't really want to sort of dwell on any particular area it's just sort of a quick rub over with the 1500 grade wet and dry then a quick dry off and a quick wipe down with some white spirits before applying the next coat of primer in total I applied two coats of primer and two coats of the top coat which will be coming in the next video and then I think it was one coat of clear coat lacquer so make sure that you get into all of the nooks and crannies and where you've got the uh, little indent at the top make sure that you get in there to remove any sort of paint that may have sort of got stuck in there between uh, the coats I found that actually sort of just folding up the uh, the bit of wet and dry and just almost sort of scraping in there like a scraper did get rid of those sort of particular areas quite effectively and there we go uh, part two will be coming up soon but hopefully this will been of some assistance to you. If you found this useful, don't forget to hit that like button and also consider subscribing for upcoming fascinating hobbies. Thanks for watching.